Good day, folks. Today I'm just going to go over how you can extend your GoPro Hero by six times using the VidPro battery grip. This thing is quite impressive. I, um, I've had it now for a couple weeks and quite happy with it. The problem with the GoPro Hero 5 is that the battery life isn't great. It's not bad, but it's not great. You cannot get a full day of shooting out of it, uh, you know, here without swapping batteries. So this here is a nice solution because if you're going places, you know, filming, you're always going to need some kind of grip, right? You know, um, you might opt to mount it on different things, your head with the head strap or a chest mount. But if you're just going to the, say, the zoo with your family and you want to do some filming, you know, you're going to bring a grip along with you. And this grip will allow you to keep your Hero charged all day. So I'll show you what comes in the box when you get it. Uh, it comes with a cell phone adapter as well, so you can mount your cell phone and keep it charged. It comes with a wrist strap. It comes with a little thing here that allows you to mount the uh, cell phone. It comes with a micro USB for charging the grip. And then it comes with a small, short mini USB for plugging into your Hero. Now, obviously, this one will only work with the Hero 4. So if you're going to be using the Hero 5, you will have to purchase an additional cable. And I'm going to include all the links down below where you can check these out farther. And uh, also get one of these USB-C cables for the Hero 5. So, I'll just kind of show you a little bit about it here. On the side here, you pull that rubber flap open, and uh, there's the charging port at the bottom. It's a little micro USB port, so that's where you would charge it. Uh, there's a little button, if you can see it here, it's pretty small, a little gold button there. If you press it, lights up some LEDs to show you how much battery is left in the grip, which is nice. And then there's a full-size USB port there, and that's what you would plug into your GoPro for charging. On the bottom, has a standard tripod mount you can screw in, so you can actually mount this on your tripod, which is kind of nice too if you're going to be doing a long time lapse. You know, here's an extra battery that can attach to your tripod and allow you to do longer time lapses. So yeah. So let's mount, I should also show you that comes off and then there's a standard uh, mount there as well. I don't know why you would want to do that, but if you do need to do it, you can do it. So let's mount our GoPro. Oh, actually first before we do that, we need to prepare the GoPro to receive the USB. So we got to remove the side door so we can charge it on the go. So what we're going to want to do is remove this door. I have another video showing you how to do it, but I'll just show you here quickly. Just kind of bend back on it lightly and it'll come right off. It's designed to come off, so don't worry, you're not going to break it. Um, then we're going to remount the GoPro in its housing. And as you can see now, the charging ports are accessible while in the housing. So we will mount it. So even just like that, you've got a nice grip for keeping the camera steady. But the magic now happens when you plug this in. Voila! Your GoPro will stay charged. It's a 6,000 milliamp battery inside the uh, grip here, plus the uh, battery that's in the Hero that should give you about six hours of, five to six hours of recording time, which is not bad, you know, and it's handy, convenient. You can record all day and you don't have to worry about uh, switching batteries out all day. You can see here, the little LED lights on, so it's recording. So yeah, it feels good in the hand. Um, it's a pretty rugged design. It's got like a rubber coating on it, so it's a nice non-slip design. Should be durable, be able to put up with uh, little knocks and bangs that it uh, 
you might get. And again, like I mentioned, if you're going to be hooking up a Hero 4, you would use the cable that actually just comes with it. And uh, it would hook up the same. In addition, you can also hook on a Session. If you've got the Session 4 or the Session 5, you know, they'll mount on the exact same way. You just have to remove the door like we did for the other, for the Hero 5, and uh, it'll just mount on there. Well, if you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And all the links to these products will be down below if you want to check them out further. And we'll see you in the next one.